Okay, here we are. We've booted Puppy Linux Slack O. And now we're going to open the console and get ready to use Molden to build a molecule structure. Click on console. Now we've got the prompt there. And we can see where we are by typing PWD, stands for Print Working Directory. We're in the root directory. Let's type ls to list the available directories. And now I want to go into my documents. So we'll do cd space my documents. I only have to type a little bit of it and then hit the tab to complete the line. And the CD was to change directory. And now if I type print working directory, PWD, I'm in root my documents. Let's see what's in there by doing a list. Only a couple of things. Let's make a new directory. It'll be called um, calcs, M-K-D-I-R calcs, to put our calculations in. We could call it whatever we want. Now if we list again, there's a new directory called calcs in there. Let's cd into there. We've cd'd into there. Let's do a list. There's nothing in there. We're going to start, I guess, by building the structure of the water molecule. Very simple. So let's make a new directory for everything having to do with water. I'll call it mkd. I'm, I'm going to do this make directory h2o list. There it is. Let's cd into there. H tab gives us that directory, and that's where we are. Let's do print working directory. We're in root my documents calcs h2o. Very good. Now we want to get the structure of the water molecule and save it in that water directory. So let's start the program Molden by typing Molden, and it should pop up. And it does. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and move the Molden computer. And we're going to build by using this thing called the Z matrix editor. Click it. It pops up. We want to add a line. The first line will define the position of the oxygen atom. So we hit add line. See the periodic table. Let's select the oxygen. There it is. It's the first line of a Z matrix. And it doesn't have any bond length angle or dihedrals yet because there's this is the first atom and others will be added with reference to it. So let's add the first hydrogen. Add line. Find our hydrogen. And it's saying so down here it says select one atom to define the connectivity of this center. Well I need to move if I do that and I'm going to click on the oxygen and then it'll connect that hydrogen to it. So now we see the oxygen in red the hydrogen in white, and if we move the Z matrix editor view, you can see that we have an 0.95 bond length, that's 0.95 angstroms, 10 to the minus 10th meter, between hydrogen and oxygen, and now we'll put in the, sec the second hydrogen and finish building this model. Add line hydrogen, Okay, it's now telling us to select two atoms to define the connectivity of this center. That's because what you need is first select the atom that this new hydrogen will be bonded to, and that's also the oxygen, and then select an, a, a, an atom where you'll specify the bond angle. So now it popped in, and let's look at the Z matrix editor. This new hydrogen, our third line in the Z matrix is hydrogen connected to atom 1 at a distance of 0.95 angstroms and with a bond angle to atom 2 of 109.47 degrees. That's about the same as the tetrahedral angle. That's perfectly good starting point for the structure of water, but we, we will go further and do some quantum chemistry calculations to improve that structure a bit. So now we're going to uh, we're going to want to save that Z map and um, after I move this window up you know what I mean down here at the bottom you have options for the format to write that Z matrix and 
I'm going to save it first in the Mo MoPack format, which I like, and we'll call it model.mopack and click on write Z matrix. Okay, and it tells us that it successfully wrote that file. And next, we'll also save it in Cartesian format. That's just going to be the uh, format, the coordinates, instead of in bond angles and bond distances, it's going to specify the structure in terms of where each atom is in, its, in Cartesian space and knows nothing about bonds. XYZ format we select, and so we're going to save that as model.xyz. And in the next video, we'll talk about how we use these files, like the XYZ file, as the starting point for a quantum chemistry calculation. Okay, that's um, how to get started working with Molden. I guess I'll, I'll close the Z matrix window, and then I'll think before we quit, which is that you can display your molecule in different ways. Right now we just have it as sticks, but I can choose solid, ball and stick, and then what a model might make out of plastic or represent the water molecule. And you can see what it does for, for a full water molecule here. So now, the way to quit out of Molden is to go back to the Molden control panel and um, close by clicking on the skull and crossbones. And that's that. Exit Molden. Okay.